are antidepressants not much better than the placebo effect? Well, there is, and you might have heard of it, um, a very strong controversy in the scientific community at the moment about the effects of antidepressants. Especially the meta-analysis by Irving Kirsch and colleagues questioned the effect of uh, antidepressants. And in fact, it really turned out, and this was replicated in other studies, that antidepressants in comparison to placebo pills do not really have a much stronger effect. In fact, about 80% of the effect of a antidepressant could be explained by placebo effects. And this is really, really much. And the question is whether the remaining 20% are um, enough to justify the side effects of antidepressants. And in fact, Erwin Kirsch argues, and there's indeed some evidence for that, that even the last 20% that the antidepressants are better might be explained by placebo effects because in studies in which um, one group gets the placebo pill and the other group gets the antidepressant, those who get the antidepressant sometimes experience serious side effects. And the moment you realize, well, my mouth is dry and in fact, I, have, I, I really have maybe some kind of sexual dysfunction and the moment you realize that you have these side effects you realize well i got the real medication and probably this realization boosts the placebo effect because now you know yes i get the real medication so probably um, some of those 20 percent superiority can be explained by very strong placebo effects and another reason to question the effects of antidepressants is the observation that, um, I mean, the most common uh, antidepressants at the moment are the SSRIs, which leads to more serotonin in your brain. And now they also tried um, the so-called SSREs, which um, leads to less serotonin in your brain. And they almost have the same effect. And this is quite strange that two quite opposite uh, working mechanisms shall have the same effect. So this really speaks for a strong placebo effect. And of course I'm not saying that antidepressants don't work at all. There might be some cases, especially in cases of strong depression, that there is some effect, but still not a really, really big effect. Most of the effects can be explained by placebo effects. So the big question is what do we do with those results? I mean, on the one hand, they are quite disappointing because, well, we treated people for such a long time with quite weak medications. And it's sad to hear that something we thought might be very effective is not that effective, at least if you take away the placebo effect. But on the other hand, I think those results are also giving hope because they tell us that a big part of the effect of an antidepressant was achieved by your own brain, by your own thoughts. Yeah, it's, it's not uh, caused by the medication, it's caused from your own. So there is the potential in your brain to stop or at least weaken depression without medication. And so if you do things that are good for you, like for example, meeting with friends or um, do sports or meditation, all these things don't have the side effects and still there is the potential for change in your brain. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this episode and if you want, we'll see you next time.